So this is Baruch here at the Tikkun Elevator Kol El, and it's time for our late night Zohar. It is the midnight Zohar, Rebbe Shema Bar Yochai. Now what we've been learning on, or learning about over here, well, besides Pinchas and this, the concept of the Yud that's involved with Pinchas, but we also have the, they brought in an idea of like a person who really gets involved in physicality. The physicality, I think, the idea was that it would consume that person and eventually lose everything. But on the other hand, there's a person who has an ability to be able to get involved with the physical world and all of the pain that's within it and elevate it. That's part of the concept, I think, that I borrowed the idea of the Tikkun Elevator Kola, is to find a way to elevate, find all ways that we can to elevate our lives to Hashem, because Hashem is behind everything in our lives, and this is what the Zohar says, they rock in the So in all of this, he called it then an east wind, meaning it's the wind of the pain of our lives. The Salak, the Shemaya, and he was able to write it to the heavens. This is the meaning of this idea. The Al Eliyahu, and Eliyahu went in to the blasting wind into the heavens. Obey and in that be on Hashem as Eov in the Sahara. So then we have another another con- another concept of in regards to Eov, that we said that he was answered from the same pain of his life. That's where Hashem spoke to him. For this reason the rabbis explained on this. Ezehu Gibor, who's a strong person a kovishus yitzro, a person who can conquer his nature. In other words, he means does it mean to, to eliminate it? He means to subdue it. The islaman the mishada le chamor. So there is a person who can turn the chamor around. The love ihu mitzdaya rochvo, so that it doesn't doesn't cause tremendous pain to the person that's riding on it. Now, what, so many metaphors could be made out of this. You were riding on the earth. This earth is full of troubles. And it's not only full of troubles, but it will take us in the end. So here we are down in this this earth, and that's where we are in the love, but it wouldn't bother this person. And who's the type of person? Who is a soul? Let's look, put it that way. A person, a human being, a body and soul. That is able to, who is that? That's a person, is Mishtadl Bakal Vachomer, a person that learns the, the rules of exegesis, of what they learn, how to learn out the oral law, how the oral, oral, oral law, oral law learns out the truth. Begin do itma ba'avraham, for this reason it says in regards to Avraham, Yachabo says Chamaro, he saddled the donkey. He is in charge. A beginning itma al Mashiach, and now this is also says a Mashiach ani a poor man, berochev al chamor and riding on the donkey. Here chamor means humrius. It means physicality, falseness, and the mistakes of our lives and the pains of our lives. Now that's Fleischman talking, but let's see what the Matik Midavash says. The Matik says he says of Isman the Mahad le chamor. The love ihum it's dire rofa. Vyesh tzadik, there's a person who's righteous. Shecha yetzer hara naaz loka ayin chamor that the yetzer hara becomes for this person like a donkey. Something you ride on, you subdue, and it does what you want. Shah rocha the love ainam it's dire. It does not cause pain for the person who is in the midst of all of this physicality in our world. Now Matak explains Ratsona Loma that is to say Ayadesha Isabitara because a person gets involved in learning Torah. Ain Rishus the Yatsahara Lit Sahara, then the Ration Yatsahara will not have permission to be able to cause this man pain. So he says, Ve'ilu inin dishnadin bakal vachomer, ve'ilu heim ha oiskin believer the Torah be'iun. These are people we call it eon really getting in to the Torah, which is actually the Zohar is a form of of oral Torah also. 
over the rush called the home different drushas different ways of understanding which is a called the to learn from the easy to the to the more strict of again though it remember abram so it says like this in abraham bishvel zed ne amba ba abraham viachabosh as chamor pivish gavor ho yach yet zahar chabosh as law was already subdued in regards to abraham avino he could control the kumochamor like it was his personal personal donkey and he says then it said he said with the beginning it mar al mashiach so therefore it says in regard to mashiach that it was indentured to, it will be indentured to the Mashiach. Mashiach is on the bottom of everything. He's like a juggler. And he could juggle them all. Was, was indentured to him until that Yetzirah does what he wants, like he becomes a donkey, the Roch of Olaf, to ride on it. So then the, we'll read a little bit more. A begin door, and then for this reason, Yud Min Shakai. So take the name Shakai, which is on our mezuzahs and on our tefillin, so on and so forth. Dihu Chulia da Shelish, Shel, 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 Shel. Excuse me. That this is the rich a uh, ring with a chain on the end of it. So the chain, so it said before it goes around the neck of the Chamor. Minam called Shadim Bamazikin. So from this ring with the chain, he says, from this scatter all the, the elements of the uh, of badness, of evil, all of those things, those destroying angels, all of that corruption and the filth that comes along with it, it scatters it. So as soon as it sees the mezuzahs of a person's house, barking, they run away. The the bo itmar on this it says la aser malkechem bezichim bezikim to forbid your kings with the to and I guess it means to bind up your kings with uh, with uh, sparks or lightning bolts. Benit b'dehem and your your the aristocrats b'kavle b'kavle barzo with chains of uh, of iron. Kol shechem kad chazi and la ba'os tefilim shel deroin and certainly these forces these evil forces when they see the tefilim on your arms and he says in your arms but on your head as well. Obreshim and bocha ba'os bris b'b'sarechem and they also they see that what you did with your bris. Of a hazar hakar of yumas, that phrase we have in Bemidbar, that the czar comes into the, there it, we think that it's talking about the base of Mekdash, and he says the so it is, that the, 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 the czar which is, it, it comes near, he should die. He says, what's the czar? Lays czar, there's no czar, ela only the Yetzahara. Damiel the Kol Haven, the Oifin Dorsin, and this is also compared to all these different wild animals. Wild animals, and birds, that trample and use their claws to kill. I think I'm going to stop here without getting in the next part. Maybe we'll have a chance to look at it next time. This is Bar Fleischman. Uh, it's late, and it is the Tikkun Elevator Kolel, Midnight Zoer on Parshas Pinchas. <laughs>